Our challenge today is to build a water garden raft. Challenge: Build a raft that floats in water. Testable goals: The raft floats for one minute and holds one fourth cup of soil. A flood happens when a large amount of water covers an area that is not usually covered by water. Floods can be dangerous. Flood water is very powerful. It can destroy many things. Floods can knock over trees and cars, bridges and buildings. Floods can even wipe out the crops and farms people depend on to survive. In some places, floods last many months and happen often. The land that people used to farm on gets buried under water, so the food they were growing gets damaged. In many places, people plant vegetables on rafts called floating gardens. Floating gardens, as the name implies, are structures built to float on water. It has a base which can grow plants on them. Floating gardens help people grow food without planting it on land. They help people grow food without them being affected by floods. Let us now think of ways to make a floating structure. Now, what are things that can float on water? Let's play a guessing game. You need to identify which of the following materials will sink or float. What do you think will happen to a metal coin? Will it float? An eraser. It's made of rubber. Now a plastic spoon. The plastic spoon floated. Will the steel spoon float too? What about the twig? We saw a few items sink and a few float. The materials that float are also known as buoyant. You can make things float by attaching a buoyant material to it. Remember the swimming pool when you first entered and you didn't know how to swim? What did you use to stay afloat on water? Right. You used materials like inflatable tubes and water wings. What could be these buoyant items that we can use? Straws, bubble wraps, and even cork. Let's keep these items ready. Make a roll of straws. Take a few straws and secure them together with a string. Make a roll of bubble wraps. Take a bubble wrap sheet. Roll it and secure it with a tape or a string. We can make a sinkable item float by securely attaching it to these buoyant items. Let's see how. Let us imagine that this bottle is our raft. Let us try with an empty plastic bottle. Does it float? Now let us imagine that we add plants to the raft and these plants are slowly growing. Will these add weight to the raft? So, let us now fill the bottle completely with colored water. Observe what happens. It sinks, right? So, we observed when water enters the bottle, the air in it is pushed out and the weight of the bottle increases to make it sink. Try attaching a cork to the heavy bottle with a rubber band. The cork made the heavy bottle float. Back to our example. 
Let us imagine that the plants on the raft are growing more. We will add some more weight to this bottle. Add some pebbles in the bottle. Let us test. The heavy bottle filled with water and pebbles, even though a cork is attached to it, might sink. The cork or the buoyant item is not able to carry the weight of these items and still sinking. Let us add more buoyant items, maybe some more cork or some bubble wrap rolls to make it float. You might need to add more buoyant items depending on how heavy your object is. Now that we have understood how things float or are buoyant, let's build our structure. So, let us identify the two parts of our project. A. The frame which would help the structure float and carry the weight of the base. B. The base which would hold the soil on it without letting it fall down in the water. Let us first make the frame of our floating raft. The materials that we can use are craft sticks, twigs or branches or straws. All of these items are buoyant, that is, they float. We will either use the craft sticks or the twigs for this raft. You can try different materials to see what suits this purpose. Let us try making our frame with twigs. We will need the following materials. Rubber bands, strings, 7 to 8 twigs. We have collected a few twigs from our nature walk. Ensure that an adult accompanies you for your walk to collect the twigs. Also, do not break branches from the trees. Use the ones that have fallen on the ground. Take the four twigs of around the same length. Join them at the edges with a rubber band or string. This will act as the frame. Place a few more twigs across the frame and tie them with a string. This is to provide support to the base. Our frame is ready. Let us test this out. Does it float? Let us add some weight to this raft. We have some soil wrapped in the aluminium foil. Does it still float? Our frame is now ready. It can float and also bear some extra weight. Trivia time! If more weight needs to be added to our frame, what shall we use to keep the frame afloat? There's a hint on the screen for you. Let us now make the base on which the soil will rest and not mix with water. The materials that we can use for the base are aluminium foil, bubble wrap, cardboard and netting. Test each material to check which of these materials would suit best. 
try a cardboard and keep it in the water for some time. What happens? The cardboard gets wet and after some time will crumple if left over an extended period of time. Now let's try our netting. What happens? Test the other materials as well. For our demonstration, we are going to use netting as it is quite light, water can still reach the plants and still hold the soil in it. We will now add the netting to our frame. We will add two layers of the net so that it can hold the soil in place. Now we will secure the net to the frame with strings. Poke the net with a pencil tip to make a small hole and weave a string across the net and the frame. Tie it securely. Repeat this on all the four sides. Our floating raft with the net is now ready. Let's test our floating raft on water. Yes, it floats. To make it sturdier, we will add some buoyant materials like the bubble wrap roll that we had made earlier. Keep the bubble wrap on the edge of the twig frame. Take a pencil and poke a hole in the net. Weave a string over the bubble wrap through the net. Secure it by tying a knot. Repeat this on all the four sides. Test the frame with the added buoyant material now. We will now slowly add the 1 4th cup of soil. We will wait for 1 minute to meet the testable goal. Let's try building a raft with some other materials. How about using craft sticks? Arrange two craft sticks parallel to each other. Spread some glue over them. Lay a bed of craft sticks side by side. Remove alternate sticks, ensuring even space between the craft sticks. Spread some more glue and place another supporting craft stick on it, making a sandwiched layer. Let the glue dry. Your craft stick frame is now ready. Let us test it out. It floats and also bears a little extra weight. It's time now to add the net. Place the frame on the net, ensuring even space on all sides. Fold the net and cut extra net if any. Place the frame on the double layered net. Poke a hole with a pencil and weave a string across the net and the frame. Secure it with a knot or two. Repeat on all sides. To enable the raft to carry extra weight, let us make it more buoyant. We will add the bundle of straws that we had made earlier. 
we will secure the straws to the raft with strings. Let us test the raft. Did you notice the bubbles in the water? These bubbles indicate that the water is entering the straws, making the frame heavy. Let us close the open ends of the straw with a duct tape. We have demonstrated a few ideas to build a floating garden raft. It's time to build your own. Be creative and experiment with materials to make the best floating garden raft.